Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video on 8 gigabytes of RAM versus 16 gigabytes of RAM in DaVinci Resolve. So in this video, I'm going to be testing using my Lenovo ThinkPad L380. So it's an i5 8 generation. And currently I have the 8 gig installed. So I'm going to be exporting a very short clip of 40 seconds. It was shot in 4K. So I'm going to be exporting this twice so i'm going to be doing it in 4k and then in 1080p then after that i'm going to be switching to the 16 gigabyte and doing the same thing so that, that way you could see how long it takes to actually do it and you can see the difference between both ram so i'm going to be you know uh, uh, trying to export this i'm going to be exporting this specifically in the highest bitrate settings so and then i'm going to be at first i'm going to be starting with the 4k clip so i'm going to be setting this to 4k at the sb3 settings and then i'm going to export and see how long it takes Okay, so exporting this in 4K, I was able to export this um, short clip in 7 minutes 45 seconds using the 8 gigabyte of RAM exporting in 4K. So now I'm going to be exporting in 1080p so that you could see how long it actually takes. So, okay, so now I'm going to be doing the same thing I did. I'm going to be exporting this in the highest bitrate settings and then I'm going to be setting my timer. And as you can see, I'm going to start exporting. so yeah it's been three minutes 46 seconds as you can see here yeah, i exported this and uh, 1080p click in three minutes 46 seconds using eight gigabytes of ram so now i'm going to be um going back i'm going to be opening my system and changing the ram so that you can actually you actually see the process so i can install another um eight gigabytes into this so some of you might have um a laptop that only have one port so you just have to get a 16 gig ram module but if you have two like i have here you can actually get an eight gig and just had it so so as you can see over here it's 16 gig on the system so as you can see i've install this and it's actually working so i'm going to be going back to davinci resolve and trying to export the same clip in 4k first so here we go okay so i'm going to be using the same settings i used the highest bitrate settings and exporting so Yeah, so I was able to export this in 6 minutes 32 seconds as compared to 7 minutes, I think 7 minutes 42 on the 8 gig, so on 16 gig I can save about 1 minute on this clip. So now I'm going to be exporting this same clip in 4K, so uh, in 1080p rather, so you could see how long it will take to export this same clip. Okay, so I completed the um, export of this and as you can see over here, um, it's 1 minute 42 seconds compared to 3 minutes um, 32, I think 3 minutes 32 seconds uh, on the um, 4K clip. So as you can see, there's on the um, 8 gig um, module. So as you can see, there's more difference using 16 gig compared to 8 gig in DaVinci Resolve. And also, if you're using Premiere Pro, you would also um, notice significant improvement. In fact, in Premiere Pro, there will be more significant improvement compared to DaVinci because DaVinci is kind of like um, power hungry compared to Premiere Pro. So that is just it. So, and also, if you also once you could actually increase your memory so maybe you are thinking of okay how many um 
percent performance will i gain by increasing my memory so in this video you could just see this is just for exporting and when it comes to editing i know the graphics plays a crucial role but the ram also helps so for those of you that are looking at okay i have a laptop or a pc with an 80 gigabytes of ram would it run davinci resolve as you can see this is davinci resolve 20 and it came out this year 2025 and my old very old Lenovo ThinkPad is able to run this so so i hope this helps i hope this video was informative if you like this video please do not forget to um uh, subscribe to the channel and click on the like button like if you have any other questions you can actually put it in the comment section below and i'll do so to answer every one of your questions so see you in the next one bye